Hi guys, and welcome back to another shuffle video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to shuffle smoother and more graceful and kind of step away from like the really bouncy, heavy effect. So let's just get right into it. One of the things that I see a lot is people who are bouncing too high. And what that will look like is really like this. You see how it looks really high. My knees are coming up high and I'm jumping really high off the ground. You don't want to do that with the running man. And all of these tips are going to be more so focused with just the running man. So just keep that in mind. But you really kind of want to think that it's just like a down slide, down, slide, down, slide, down, slide, slide, slide. So every time I'm sliding, I'm not bringing my foot off the ground. It's not really coming off of, except just like the tiniest little amount. It's just sliding down, slide. I, when I first started learning how to do this, I learned from Emily Ratzleff and she made a really good point. Like you want to treat it almost like you're jumping rope. When you jump rope, you're not doing that, right? You're just barely coming off the ground. It's the same illusion with the running man. So don't jump so high. That's tip number one. So the next thing I see is people who land really, really heavy. You kind of want to stay away from this because that's how you get this effect. Okay, this is also really dramatic. I don't really see people shuffling like that just to kind of get the point across. Also, the birds are being so loud. Sorry. So you don't want to land so heavy. A, to where you're gonna hurt your ankles, but B, to where you don't have a lot of energy to come back up. You just wanna land heavy enough to just sink your weight into the ground. It doesn't take that much weight to do that. Gravity's naturally gonna push you down. You don't have to be gravity yourself. It's gonna do that already. So you wanna keep your weight in the balls of your feet. And if you don't know where the balls of your feet are, it's right here. You can actually see where I use my shoe the most. That's the balls of my feet. So my weight, is here. Duh. So my heels do touch the ground, but the weight is focused in the balls of your feet, right? So we don't want to jump up too high and we don't want to land too heavy, right in the middle. Okay. The next thing you want to stay away from is bringing your knees up so high. So that's what this would look like. Let's say that you, you know, you're not jumping really heavy and let's say you're not jumping up too high. This is what it would look like if you bring your knees up too high. You see how that kind of looks like a little choppy? It's not super fluid. It's because I'm bringing up my perch way up here. You kind of want to find your happy medium and the perch will move. Um, it will kind of depend given like maybe the song choice or the vibe that you're going for you know, whatever you're doing definitely may alter how high your perch is. But I would say, hold on. I would say happy medium is a little about 90 degrees or less, right? I'm making a 90 degree angle. I'm not really bringing it higher than that. If it does go a little bit higher, it's okay. But I would definitely not go like up here. I would stay kind of in this range or even lower. When you bring it up so high, you kind of take that illusion away of the floating effect because the knees that coming up, it kind of breaks that apart. There's times too, if I'm really not feeling it, that I'll do it low. Okay, or if it's really fast, you're, you're not gonna have enough time to bring that knee up super high. So it might have to be kind of low. Okay, so just practice that. Now the next thing you wanna do and you really wanna focus on is keeping your upper body relaxed. You don't wanna tense it up. You don't wanna be so rigid because what that would look like is. I feel like I look so awkward and I know you guys don't look like this, but I feel like I have to be extra dramatic. So you, you saw that my upper body was like super tight. Don't do that, okay? You wanna keep it relaxed, but also not where it's too relaxed somewhere in the middle. So kind of soften your chest. Make sure you're breathing. I feel like we tense up when we're not breathing that much. Let the air flow through you. Feel the breaths as you shuffle and kind of just let your body relax. 
Shake it out if you need to, if you feel like you're being tense. You know, do what you gotta do. Shimmy it out. Keep your upper body relaxed. That's gonna make it look so much more graceful than super tight and rigid or just over relaxed. Okay? Now, the next thing we wanna focus on is keeping our core engaged. And what I mean by that is to not tense really hard and try and like push out your muscles. It's just to keep this energy tight. I kind of like to think about the core as like this ball of energy in your belly. And you kind of squeeze it a little, but nothing that's like overbearing, right? I'm not sucking in. I'm just keeping it nice and tight. And it's gonna look so much more seamless and smooth. Now, the last tip is to use your arms to help you. If you are having really tight arms or too loose of arms, it's gonna to give to the effect. For instance, if you're doing too tight of arms, I, I literally can't even do soft legs because my arms are super tight. So if your arms are too soft, You see how I'm like super loose and just super bouncy? It's because my, my arms aren't bringing the whole effect together. Our arms play such a big role with shuffling. Like it's natural to think, oh, it's all the legs, but honestly the arms play a big part of it because there's such an illusion. So use your arms and remember that we are a multi-dimensional human being. We have all this space around us. We don't just have what's in front of us. We have what's behind, what's up, what's down. Use your arms. Okay, and you see how that kind of gives the effect that I'm really floating and gliding around? It's because I'm using my arms as an illusion. If I didn't use my arms at all, I literally did the same exact thing with my feet. I just didn't use my arms. Such a difference. That is all the tips because I don't wanna like over give tips. I feel like that's all I want you to focus on right now. Practice these tips, practice in front of a mirror. That's gonna really help you kind of see how you are. If you are super bouncy, if you are super heavy, use the mirror, record yourself every now and then, just to kind of see how you do look because sometimes we look different than we feel and that's okay. So just use your resources to help you. And I hope these tips helped. And yeah, super short video, but I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.